Today I'm showing you a drill that is very good for beginners, but at the same time can even give pro players a good challenge. On my Patreon page I'm sharing a lot of additional content on the game, including drills and videos where you can see me performing the drills. I decided to share one of them here in this video. The drill I'm going to show you today doesn't train your shot making ability, but your cue ball control and also your speed control. And yes you heard right, this drill can be done by beginners, but will also be challenging for pro players, and that's because it has adjustable skill levels. And as a little surprise for just reaching 60k subscribers, you can win a $50 Amazon gift card if you can perform this drill on its most difficult level. The person who sends me his video first will be the winner and also be shown in one of my next videos. And now let's have a look at the drill and the difficulty levels. Here are the basic rules. You start with a ball in hand and aren't allowed to collide into any other ball. Every ball has to be made to its nearest pocket. Level 1. We set up the balls like this and play them in order from 1 to 4. The object balls are one ball length away from the first diamond and the rail. Level 2. We add 4 additional balls like this and play them in order from 1 to 8. Level 3. We add another 4 balls like this and play them in order from 1 to 12. Level 4. Now we introduce position zones and start again with just the balls from 1 to 4. The cue ball has to be in the same position zone as the ball that you are playing. That means on the one ball for example, the cue ball has to be in the yellow position zone. Level 5. We add 4 additional balls again and play them in order from 1 to 8 with our position zones again. That means when we are playing for example the 8 ball, we have to be in the purple area. Level 6. We add 4 additional balls again and have to play them in order from 1 to 12 with our position zones. Level 7. We start again with just 4 balls, but our position zones are now smaller. We have to play the balls in order and have to be in the corresponding position zone. Level 8. As you can imagine, we are adding 4 additional balls and have to play them in order from 1 to 8. Level 9. This is the most difficult level. We have to play the balls in order from 1 to 12 and the cue ball has to be in the same position zone as the ball that we are playing. And now let's have a look at my attempt, of course on the most difficult level. Ok, I'm starting with ball in hand in the yellow position zone because I have to play the one ball. And as you see I didn't colorize the table but I have those bright lines that will show you the 2x2 two two diamond position zones. And the thing is, we have 2x2 two two diamonds where the cue ball is allowed to end, but as you see where the 2 ball is, um, we have much less space for the cue ball to end, so it's really difficult. Here I'm going 2 rails. I yeah don't end up perfect because um, I don't have the natural angle that brings me into the purple position zone for the 4, so I have to use stun and have to use more power. And you want to avoid that because it's really difficult regarding your speed control and the exact path you want to go if you have to stun balls. So you always look for natural um, angles that the cue ball will take, the natural path where you just have to support it a little bit. And here again I had to draw the cue ball and again I don't want to end up with um, too little angle on the 5 ball. This angle is actually perfect. Here you see it, I don't have to stun the ball. You see I'm following with um, high right so that the cue ball travels naturally down table to the 6 ball. Ok here on the 6 ball it's basically the same. I have enough angle, I can just pass the 10 ball. Um, I will never hit the 10 ball if I don't add inside English so I'm just working with high here on the cue ball. And all I have to concentrate really is the right speed so that I end up in the position zone for the 7 with the right angle on the 7. So um, yeah, as I said, this drill trains your speed control and your cue ball control. Here from the 7 to the 8 it's a little tricky. I have to use 2 rails or even 3 rails maybe. So here you see me measuring and I want to hit the rail here. That means the cue ball will come down to the 8 and hopefully will stay in the position zone. So again, it's a matter of cue ball control, that means bringing the cue ball to the line that you um, want to bring it to and of course speed control. 
And here you saw my speed control was off, because I would have needed an angle again to go up table for an nine ball. So all I can do here, all I have left is um, a draw shot with a lot of left hand English. That means the left hand English will open the angle on the first rail and bring me um, up table to the nine ball again. But this is really a difficult shot regarding speed control, because using the inside English and drawing the cue ball is very hard to control, so you really have to be very careful and most of the time people tend to overpower this shot. And as you saw, I did exactly the same thing, I overpowered it a little bit, maybe one ball length, one and a half ball length less and that would have been perfect. So here all I have left is a thin cut, a difficult cut. And I also have to play the cue ball with inside English, because I want to stay above the 10 ball. So I have to cut the 9 ball very thin into the pocket, play it with inside English. Yeah, that means the cue ball will stay a little more um, above the 10 ball and hopefully I will get a nice position on the 10 ball. And as you saw, the 9 went thick into the pocket, that's why I'm so close to the 10 ball, but luckily I had the exact amount of speed. Yeah, it was just luck here, but I had the perfect amount of speed, so um, that I have the natural angle for the 10 ball. A little further and I would have had no chance to get up table for the 11 ball again, but here I'm using this point on the rail. I have to play this shot with my weak arm, so I'm um, right handed shot, but um, yeah, as the balls are really close to each other, this shouldn't be a problem. So all I have to concentrate here is that I add the right amount of right hand English, not much, hit the right point on the uh, second rail and then the right amount of speed. And as you see here, I hit a little too soft, but um, yeah, I decided to continue anyway. Because believe it or not, this took me 4 hours to complete this drill on this level. Um, it was really frustrating, uh, so I decided to continue and use this video where I almost did this drill on its uh, most difficult level. Because yeah, it's, as I said, a really tough drill. So I would recommend to start on the first level and work your way up um, to the next level and see how far you get. And yeah, that's my attempt on doing this drill. And um, yeah, I'm really curious how you do. And um, now let's pick a random comment from my latest video. My latest video was about um, a thing that will help you to become a shot maker. And Thomas wrote in the comments, what helps is closing your eyes. That way you will really have to focus on how your hands are holding the cue stick. Yes, indeed. That's um, also something I'm doing with new students. Um, when we're going over their technique, I always um, set them up straight in shots and they have to play it with their eyes closed because um, this is the perfect way to see flaws in their technique um, if they're always missing to a certain side so that's a very good thing if you have never tried this before you should definitely try this um, set up a straight shot and then close your eyes before um, pulling the trigger before your um, backswing and then before you pull the trigger um, and it's really interesting to see the results um, it will really show you the flaws in your technique and that's also something um, I think I was showing in one of my Maybe my my first big video um, how to become a shot maker. I was showing Mark Williams um, A very famous snooker player if you don't know him and he actually was doing this in a match Of course, he already won the frame, but then he closed his eyes and um, pulled off some real difficult shots So I'm um, really entertaining. I will give you the link to this video in the description and Yeah, that's it for today. I'm uh, really curious how you do in this drill let me know, by the way, which difficulty level you can master so that I can um, get a feedback um, what the general skill level of my subscribers is. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. And as always, see you in the next lesson. Take care.